Hi, my name is Marilyn and today we'll be unboxing the Aruba CX6300 24-port Smart Rate Class 6 PoE switch. The Aruba CX6300 Switch Series is a modern, flexible and intelligent family of stackable switches released in 2020. It is ideal for enterprise access, aggregation, core and top-of-rack deployments. Let's get to the unboxing. Here, you have your startup guide, safety and compliance documentation, as well as a USB Bluetooth dongle which is to be used for the initial switch setup. We will cover this later in the video. And there's a set of standard 19-inch rack mount kit. Now let's have a look at the switch. On the front, you will find 24 multi-rate PoE++ ports capable of 1, 2.5 and 5 gig operation and 4 SFP28 ports supporting 10, 25, 50 gig speeds used for stacking and fiber uplinks. At your bottom right corner is the USB auxiliary port, followed by the dedicated out-of-band management port. Here's the USB-C console port and the LED mode selector button. Right next to your LED status lights is the reset button. You will need a pin in order to access it. At the very bottom, there is a little orange insert with your switch serial number, part number and MAC address details. At the back, you will find two power supply slots for your primary and optional secondary PSU. Now, you will need to be aware that the switch doesn't ship with any power supplies, so you will have to order these separately. The switch includes a primary fan unit and a slot for the optional redundant fan assembly, which again, is orderable separately. One thing to note is that air is ingested through the vents in front and on the sides of the switch, and then exhausted through the back. So keep these areas clear of any obstacles when the switch is in operation. Now, let me show you how to get started with the initial switch config. Insert a USB Bluetooth dongle into the auxiliary USB port and power up your switch. While you're waiting for it to boot up, go to your Google Play or Apple App Store and download and install the Aruba CX mobile app. Enable your Bluetooth and pair your device with the switch Bluetooth adapter. The name will be in the format switch model dash switch zero number. On some devices, you will have to enable internet access through the Bluetooth. Now, open the Aruba CX mobile app. Close Diagnostics and Usage Preferences As soon as your switch has been detected, the app will prompt you to set the admin user account password. Type in your password twice and click on Set Password. Once you're connected, you can access the CLI directly through the app or modify config through the available widgets. But let's run through the initial config wizard. Select Start Single Switch Configuration. We will skip net edit details and configure hostname, admin password, and static IP address on the out-of-band management interface. The Aruba CX mobile app will generate a copy of the new config which is ready for deployment. Review it and click on Deploy. After the config has been deployed and verified, click on Done. Now, let's connect the switch out-of-band management port to our network. Try accessing the switch using SSH. Now, try accessing it using a web browser. And there you have it. For more how-to videos on Aruba OS CX switches, check out the library at phoenixpro.club or subscribe to our Phoenix Pro Club YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!